Hello everyone, this is the Twins of Destruction, and today we're going to be doing a little review, I guess you could say, of Star Wars Celebration, the reveal trailer of The uh, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, first off, the live stream is pointless, so if you're going to go back and rewatch it for little details about the film, don't, because they revealed absolutely nothing except for pointless Colbert jokes and stories, because, of course, Stephen Colbert was the one presenting it. Nothing was learned from the live stream. Nothing was learned from the live stream of Star Wars Celebration that we didn't learn in the trailer itself. You learn about Ray's new abilities, Ray's point in the story, and the actual timeline just by watching the trailer. The best part was Billy D. Williams of the Star Wars Celebration and pretty much the trailer as it is because it's good to see him back in the Falcon. Overall, the trailer looked like a J.J. Abrams movie. It reminded me of the Force Awakens trailer. Go figure, because it's the same director. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It means that it's off to a decent start. But coming back from The Last Jedi is going to be very hard to bring a lot of fans forward and actually make them happy. Uh, there's a huge thing that we're going to get to the end that seems just like it's fan service based off of a decision made in The Last Jedi, but we'll get there in a minute. There was a lot of glamour shots. I mean, in just like The Last Jedi, the movie had great cinematography. Seems like this movie is going to have great cinematography as well. But again, that doesn't make it a great movie. This trailer shows off a lot of action with Rey flipping over the ship. Uh, a lot of gunfire, a lot of speeders. A quote is, 1,000 generations are in, live in you, but it's about the Skywalker saga. So why is it about Rey all of a sudden? This is supposed to be ending a saga, unless Rey is a Skywalker. Our next point would be, Kylo's mask is repaired. There was a huge arc in The Last Jedi, where Kylo destroyed his mask because Snoke made fun of him for it. Snoke said, you're not Darth Vader. Get rid of that stupid mask. He said that over and over throughout the films. So he destroys it, because he knows he's not Darth Vader. The only reason he wore the mask was because he was trying to emulate Darth Vader, to make himself look scarier. But now, he realizes he doesn't need the mask. He just needs to be himself. The scary, badass person he is, I guess. But now, he repairs it. Destroying the mask was supposed to be a character arc that makes everybody, the audience, know that he is developing as a character. He doesn't need the mask to hide behind to be this menacing villain. But no, he needs to put it back together because... It's a staple for the original movie, The Force Awakens. Which doesn't make sense because so, character development... Ryan is, Johnson, just his storyline is thrown out the window. The only bit of character development that Ryan actually added, and it was thrown out. Uh, again, Lando is amazing. Uh, I don't know why it took so long to get him back, this time without any of the original cast. Uh, characters, original characters, Chewie's there. But original cast, there's no one. I have hopes for this movie. I'm trying not to... Uh, keep the taste in my mouth from The Last Jedi. It's just, it doesn't seem good because of how The Last Jedi was. And the fact that they didn't really take this Star Celebration presentation seriously. They were just like, eh, hey, we'll show you a trailer. They know a lot of people are skeptical about Star Wars. But they didn't really address those skepticisms. They just joked around on stage the whole time and then showed a trailer with, which is the next thing we're going to get to, the biggest reveal was that Luke said not everything stays dead, and you hear Emperor Palpatine's laugh. As it looks like the crew walking up to what it seems is the wreckage of one of the Death Stars. I'm you assuming can, the Death Star 2. You can see it's the ring. There's a ring that For the looks, laser beam. looks like the laser beam of the Death Star. I don't know, because the, the entire thing was exploded to smithereens. It blew up, engulfed in fire. So unless this planet's near Endor, and it, for some reason the ring was intact floating through space, I don't know. Um, it's just weird because Palpatine was supposed to have been dead. That was the entire point of Anakin's arc. Anakin came back to the Force as Anakin. Darth Vader was killed. So if Palpatine still lives, then that kind of undermines Anakin's sacrifice as dying in his son's arms to save him and hopefully this is just a vision much like Rey when she touched the lightsaber in The Force Awakens had a vision of the lightsaber's experiences on Bespin and Darth Vader she heard the breathing she heard Obi-Wan she heard Yoda hopefully she's just hearing Sidious she's not actually going to see Sidious or it could be like Leia in the comics when she went to Theed Palace to try to save the planet from being destroyed after the Empire was destroyed, um, she felt Maul's presence because of the significance that Maul imprinted onto the hangar bay. 
it literally left a dark side imprint. So maybe there is a dark side imprint on wherever Rey is going that she feels the presence of Palpatine, but he's not actually there. If they were going to reintroduce Palpatine as alive, let's just say Palpatine's alive, then why kill off Snoke? Why not have them battle for the throne of the galaxy? But Ryan Johnson killed off Snoke, so what better way to reintroduce the old fans, the ones that hated Ryan Johnson's decision, than to reintroduce Emperor Palpatine? So far, this smells like bait trying to win back old fans as through fan service. But again, it's just a teaser trailer. We still don't know if he's alive. We don't know if he's talking through a holocron, either Sith or Jedi. Maybe he tapped into him somehow. Maybe there's a recording. Something. When Luke says nothing truly dies, maybe he's talking about Sith ideology, not really Palpatine in general. Remember that. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the title, The Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker, I always envisioned as Anakin rising, becoming a Jedi, but then again he fell, but then he rose again, so it was a rise and fall, but it was still a rise. But if the Skywalkers, Luke's dead, Anakin's been dead, I mean, obviously they're going to have some sort of connection in this film, but what can rise? This is the end of the saga, what will rise out of the Skywalkers? Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, ben Solo is not a Skywalker, so to say that he's going to turn to the light side is just utter bogus bullcrap right now. But, I don't know. I guess anything can happen. Overall, I'm still hopeful. That ending just really confused me, and clearly because they had Ian McDermott come out on stage and say to replay the trailer. So, like, he's involved in this film. Sure. But it's a teaser trailer. It's a teaser. It. it uh, we're not going to Judge, Don't jump to conclusions yet. But yeah. overall, it was an interesting bout to wait for this trailer, because everyone is all freaking out about it on the state of Star Wars at this point. Uh, I'd recommend everyone else try to stay hopeful, because it's not good to live in a negative world. Just to call out criticism when you see it. And if you didn't like this trailer, call it out. I'd like to know what you didn't like. Put it in the comments down below. Uh, tag Star Wars on Twitter. Just be respectful about it, because you need to show your respect... A, to get respect. To get respect. So, show them what you don't like. Show them what you like. I'd love to know what you liked. I'd love to know what you didn't like. If you did like the, this video... Put it down in the comments below. Leave a like. Subscribe for more content. And if you want to see more Star Wars content... Like stay tuned. On uh, Fallen Order or this movie. Stay tuned. We will probably do a video on it because we love this stuff. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.